despite so many knowing and understanding that there is a bit of a sustainability issue when it comes to AI computing, vendors aren't putting much of an effort into reporting that energy consumption. I'm Beth Motter here with Tiernan Ray. Tiernan, this seems almost like a no-brainer that you would want to report that that sustainability issue, the the computing power when pitching your AI computing. Why aren't vendors being upfront with that information just first thing? It's a really good question, Beth. You'd think in 2021, talking about the carbon footprint of computing, yeah. obvious. There's a benchmark test that comes out twice a year that says how much energy does it cost to use AI to make predictions, you know, things like recommending what books or music you would like, or things like mm -hmm. translating languages, basic AI functions. In the latest report of these test results from companies such as NVIDIA and Qualcomm and Intel, only 22% of the reported test results included a measure of the energy consumption despite the fact that these being some of the most successful companies in the world. So we talked with these companies and asked them, and basically they said, it's like taking a test. When you're taking a test, you can optimize to do well on certain things and not on others, figure where your strengths are. So all of these vendors are saying, we want our chips to report the most impressive raw performance, the speed of how fast we come up with a recommendation for what music you might like, or come up with a translation, from one language to another, we're kind of less interested in effect in what is the carbon footprint to do that. And the reason is when they go to customers, obviously they're trying to put their best foot forward with the product to say it's the fastest. So basically they're saying we have limited resources. There's some things we can do and others we can't. And so we're not gonna spend as much time in these test results to measure and then report accurately how much energy it takes. Hmm. So like you said, it's 2021. The, the carbon footprint really seems to be on a lot of people's minds. Um, does it, is there any sign that they'll begin making progress in reporting more of this? Are, are people pushing for this? Will the vendors change? It's a good question, Beth. I think there's two things going on. One is I think all of the parties involved especially when they see headlines like they see on ZDNet kind of scolding them for this, will say, what do we have to do differently? Is there a problem in the process? Do we may need to make it easier for ourselves to actually report these energy costs? And so maybe the process is the issue. The second thing I think is sustainability is now part of the investing landscape. There are people who invest in stocks who care about whether a company mm -hmm. has sustainable or uh, sort of equity equitable uh, practices. And over time, if it gets out that companies such as NVIDIA are dominating an industry but are not taking the proper responsibility to report the sustainability of their products, that's going to come back to bite them because there's going to be people who are going to say, I can't put my pension funds money into your stock because you don't care about the environment. Yeah, I think, I think in this day and age, it's better to be upfront and transparent. Um, and and if you acknowledge this, maybe maybe you'll start working towards this to making it better. Um, because like you said, a lot of people are starting to put their money where big companies, big corporations are making promises to improve. And you know, Beth, you've seen this where companies sort of turn it around, right? If you're the leader in the industry, why don't you be the leader who sets the pace for being responsible as well? And you can end up doing well while doing well for others is the basic point. Yep. In this day and age, that's what we need. Um, somebody's somebody's going to have to make that first step forward, kind of make that leap um, so that we see progress. All right, Tiernan. Well, thank you so much for reporting on this. It'll be interesting to see uh, in a year or two if anything changes, um, if these vendors start being a little more upfront with their consumers um, and reporting on that first thing. So we'll as watching. always, we'll say we'll that again. Be watching. We will be. I Now that you've pointed this out, I'm interested because I think that's kind of the way of the future um, if you want to be successful at this point. So thank you for watching. As always, be sure to stick with ZDNet for all things tech.